just 11,571 square kilometers. That's how tiny Qatar is, which is 6% of Gujarat state. But Qatar is one of the most powerful and richest countries in the world. Qatar has spent around $300 billion to host the most controversial and popular FIFA World Cups in history. The winner is Qatar. <laughs> Qatar is not even a football nation and bought the rights to host the World Cup. Qatar even rescheduled the whole event from summer to winter. But how did this tiny country become so powerful? Why are they even hosting FIFA? To get an answer for this question, we need to study the country a little bit. Qatar's population is just around 30 lakhs, which is 5% of Gujarat's population. In this population, 50% of the people are migrant workers from India, Bangladesh, Nepal and Philippines. If you look at the Qatar nationals, they make less than 15% of the entire population. But this small population controls the entire nation and holds strong position in the world economy. Historically, if you see, Qatar was one of the poorest countries in the world. The region was dependent on pearl, fish and trade business. The country shined only after its natural resources. Other regions in the Gulf like Dubai, they also shined with natural resources which was oil. But Qatar's economy is heavily dependent on exporting natural gas. More than 70% of Qatar's revenue comes from petroleum and natural gas. Qatar is the second largest exporter of natural gas in the world. Qatar's economy started growing majorly after 2000, after their natural gas projects kicked off. Qatar has the third largest natural gas reserves in the world after Russia and Iran. If oil gets over, they don't have to worry much because natural gas is their biggest asset. With all the money they have earned from natural gas, they can build the country for decades. If you look at all the rich Gulf regions who are trying to find ways to grow their economy apart from their natural resources, Dubai built an alternative which is the tourism industry. Qatar also tried to grow their tourism industry but they didn't succeed as much as Dubai. Even though Qatar is home to some of the best airlines, their large portion of the revenue comes from selling petroleum. So they chose different methods and expanded their investments. They have invested a lot of money across the world which many people are not even aware of. Qatar spends around $1 billion annually on the art industry. Qatar also bought some of the most costliest paintings. They host art galleries exhibitions to attract tourists. Qatar owns the tallest building in London, owns the Paris Football Club, owns Al Jazeera, one of the most popular media networks in the world, 50% stake in Shell Center, 20% in Heathrow Airport, ownership in Volkswagen, taking over Islamabad Airport in Pakistan and many more investments across the world. Qatar spends a lot of money to expand its growth and gain influence, money and power. If I ask you to choose between money and power, most probably you will choose money. That's because people like you and me haven't enjoyed the luxury of billions, right? So Qatar prefers power because money anyway falls on their feet. This is what money does. Think of corruption in jobs. If you're paying money to get the job, pretty much you are the job, right? So this is, this is how modern day power works. Money literally erases all other issues. After a few months, we might move on with all the controversies that are happening. You might be thinking money is fine, but why is Qatar so obsessed with hosting FIFA? Around $300 billion spent for building new world-class stadiums, new metro lanes, and a lot of hotels and tourism infrastructure. Logically, if you see, Qatar is going to face losses from this entire tournament. But in reality, it's not true. Here is the reason. Countries can be torn by racism, corruption and inequality, whatever the problem is. But when it comes to football, there is so much unity we can't even imagine. If you thought about India-Pakistan cricket match which gave goosebumps, think of football craze. Football is not just a game. Like the famous line goes, football is not a matter of life and death. It is much more than that. There is power, religion, money, passion and everything else in between. Is, is this game football. Like Nelson Mandela says, sports has the power to inspire and unite people. Arab people know this very well and 
they do everything to host spectacular sports events this time qatar make sure there is a huge viewership for this world cup already estimates say around 5 billion people will be glued to the screens to watch the fifa world cup that's half of the entire world population watching one name qatar political prestige and power is what qatar is aiming for once the world cup happens what do you think will happen the tourism happens naturally but more importantly qatar will expand its investment portfolio even bigger and become more powerful country in the world that's the whole fifa game happening here it might have cost more than 300 billion dollars for qatar to host fifa but it costs 0 dollars for you to support this channel If you like this video hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video